can access to Huawei ads and leading When launching a new app, you definitely want it to gain maximum exposure. If your app has a large user base, you want to quickly monetize the big data traffic your users generate. Advertising is undoubtedly the best way to monetize data traffic and promote your app. By integrating Huawei Ads Kit, your app can access to Huawei Ads and leading advertising capabilities. Through Huawei Ads, you can partner with numerous top advertisers. This will allow you to monetize your app through high quality ads with high fill rates and high eCPM. Account Kit provides a simple and secure login authorization function based on international standard protocols such as OAuth 2.0 and OpenID Connect. With one click authorization, your new users can immediately log in to your app through their Huawei IDs. To ensure account security, Account Kit uses two factor authentication to encrypt data throughout the process. Users have to confirm their identity with their password and SMS verification code. Map Kit enhances your app by adding in a standard map where you can point out places to your users. Users can interact with the map with things like selecting, zooming, swiping, rotating, and switching between 2D and 3D. MapKit also has extensive customization capabilities, so you can customize the map style, markers, polyline, polygon, circle. Huawei Analytics Kit makes analyzing much easier. Integrating an Analytics Kit SDK into your app can automatically generate various results, such as in-app user behavior, and the characteristics of different user groups. These results can then inform your product optimization and marketing strategies. Even if you don't understand advanced algorithms, Machine Learning Kit has an out-of-the-box feature so you only need to integrate its SDK into your app. You'll then have access to leading image, voice, and language services that are easy to use, AI-enabled, and intelligent. These services can adapt to all scenarios, various devices, and multiple languages. Machine Learning Kit provides you with excellent visual services, like detecting facial contours and seven categories of facial emotions in real time. With Machine Learning Kit, users can quickly extract editable text from an image, even if the text direction box is tilted or the words are at a 45 degree angle. On devices, besides Latin, Machine Learning Kit can recognize Chinese, Japanese, and Korean that cannot be recognized by other kits of its kind. On the cloud, it can recognize 19 languages now, but will recognize more in the future. Machine Learning Kit also puts functions like image classification, object detection and tracking, and landmark recognition at your disposal. Dear Huawei partners, developers, industry leaders, and esteemed media representatives, welcome to the opening ceremony of the Huawei HMS App Innovation Contest. I am Emilia Son, your moderator. It is my great honor to usher in this exciting event. As we know, 
everyday life has been immeasurably enriched by the wide array of apps that come available on mobile devices. Mobile app innovation is indispensable for making life more intelligent, convenient, and rewarding. This is all dependent on the sustained efforts of dedicated developers. And so, the Huawei HMS ecosystem has fully opened the chip device cloud capabilities of HMS Core with the aim of working closely with global developers and partners to provide users with versatile, all-encompassing intelligence on demand. Huawei and its partners have launched this competition with the goal of inspiring talented global developers to pursue groundbreaking innovation, enabled by the open capabilities of Huawei HMS. We believe that the competition will serve as a magnet for new ideas that not only allow for the HMS ecosystem to thrive, but also facilitate better services for millions of users around the world. The event includes five regional competitions and involves the participation of distinguished experts and judges from diverse backgrounds, such as media, investment industry, communities, organizations, and associations. In participating, outstanding developers have the chance to earn lucrative prizes. You may wonder what makes the Huawei HMS App Innovation Contest unique and how it benefits the global developer community. Well, that is why I'm proud to introduce Mr. Zhang Ping'an, the president of Huawei Consumer Cloud Service, the architect of the competition, who will share his vision for the Huawei HMS App Innovation Contest and give us some key background information. Welcome, 大家好，很高兴能在这里通过在线连接的方式向全球开发者发出邀请，让我们一起来创新，并重构科技未来。华为诚挚的欢迎大家积极来参与 HMS 全球应用创新大赛。今天，数字化智能社会已经来临。智能社会有三个主要特征：万物感知、万物互联、万物智能。科技创新。可以帮助我们更好地实现对物理世界的深度感知，并且把这种感知转变为数字信息。伴随着网络互联技术的不断演进，数字信息的连接和传输也越来越便捷和高效，使人与物、物与物的实时互联成为可能。基于大数据和人工智能的应用，也将发挥着更大的价值，实现万物智能。智能设备作为 5G 加 AI 技术的重要载体，毋庸置疑地成为智能世界的互联中枢。近几年，智能设备的创新持续迭代，不断突破物理世界和数字世界的边界，并助力构建相互交融的数字孪生世界，将两者紧密地连接在一起。智慧世界的大门已经打开，更多的技术创新和应用创新。不断涌现。我们今天看到的八 K 高清视频、AR 互动、VR 直播等创新实践，为消费者带来了超凡体验。我们相信，未来在数字孪生世界中，会迎来更美好的智慧化数字生活服务体验。面对数字化智能社会的高速发展，华为提出面向未来打造的全新生态。我们把全场景智慧生活战略作为未来十年的长期战略。除了打造一加八加 N 的全场景硬件生态，在智能设备领域持续创新，我们还面向全球构筑了华为移动服务生态，也就是 HMS 生态，汇聚全球高品质的创新应用、内容、服务，在全场景设备中无缝流转。带来更好的智慧体验。开放共赢的 HMS 生态在全球范围内高速增长。截止二零二零年第一季度，华为终端的全球用户月活已经达到了六点五亿，同比增长百分之二十五。
，全球注册的开发者达到了一百四十万，同比增长超过了百分之一百一十五。全球集成了 HMS Code 的创新应用数量超过了六万，同比增长了百分之六十七。HMS 生态呢是一个开放的生态，华为通过 HMS Call 和 Connect 全面开放了新端云的能力。目前我们已经开放了四十多项能力，我们还会持续开放更多的能力，集成开发环境和工具等，使能开发者应用创新，共同加速打造全场景智慧体验。我们希望通过覆盖全球的华为应用市场。让每一个创新应用都能触达华为终端全球范围内的六点五亿用户，释放潜能，放大应用创新的价值，与全球用户一起共享创新成果。同时，我们还通过 App Gallery Connect 为全球开发者提供创意、开发、分发、运营、分析这些服务，全生命周期的来支持应用的开发。加速开发者实现创新。一直以来，华为携手全球开发者持续探索应用创新，践行科技普及天下。越来越多的开发者加入了 HMS 生态，通过集成华为的新端云的能力，与我们一起实现体验创新，创造更多的社会价值。今天我很高兴的与大家一起分享几个来自开发者创新的真实故事。比如，来自中国的开发者应用小爱帮帮，通过 AI 的创新，让世界更进一步。我叫金碧辉，我自己是一个色弱和高度近视，我主要从事机器人和机器视觉的工作。在巴黎的几年学习和工作当中，我注意到大街上有一些使用盲杖出行，然后在工作当中使用辅助工具的视障者。在我回国的几年里，我开发了几款软硬件的产品，希望这些产品能够帮助视障者更好的融入社会。小爱帮帮和小爱亲友利用了远程视频和人工协作，帮助视障者单独的生活。最近开发的小爱助视器软件。则利用华为的 Hi AI 技术实现文字的自动识别，利用增强对比度的方法，帮助视障者能够看清相应的文字。利用华为的手机和我们开发的软件，能够替代现在昂贵的专业的电子助视器。我尝试开发了小爱助视器课堂版，一块平板，一个具有强大光学变焦的手机。那么，低视力的学生就可以更好地融入到正常的课堂学习当中了。我们将最新的消费电子产品改造成满足视障人士需求的专业工具，让他们以较低的成本享受到技术发展的红利。通过这种方式，让更多的视障人士能够独立生活，有尊严地融入社会。来自。立陶宛的故事 ，Sketch AR， 通过 AR 的创新，帮助用户完成绘画，让艺术创作变得更简单。The main problem for artists and especially for people generally when starting drawing is the fear of a white canvas. Hi, my name is Andre, founder and CEO of Sketch AR, and also I'm a multidisciplinary artist and designer. Since 2004, I've been creating art, design, interactive installations, videos, and mobile products. I've always been passionate about two things: technology and art. At the same time, as a tech guy, I knew what kind of tech would be helpful for me as an artist. It is augmented reality. For novices in drawing, SketchYR offers hope. We have shrunk the gap between fear and the action of taking the first step. We have built this most powerful assistant for creativity, powered by AI. We already use machine learning and neural networks to analyze everything that a smartphone camera sees on paper to give users very personalized advice for drawing. With the Huawei Hi-Fi Foundation, the app has improved significantly. 
particular with issues regarding logging, and there is a much better AR and user experience found on Huawei devices compared to its competition. Be more responsive and allowing the user to draw more accurately. Usually our users are really happy with the first drawing using SketchYR. I'm thrilled by how excited the first results are. The first line you draw will lead you to the endless growth. 我们在欧洲推出的联合创新 StorySign 利用图像识别 OCR 机器学习等技术将流行的儿童读物翻译成手语方便了失聪人群来阅读 Checking the weather around the capital cities in Sydney a partly cloudy day ahead with a top of There are 32 million deaf children in the world, thousands of them right here in Australia. And because they can't hear words being spoken to them, many struggle to read. There are parents and teachers that don't know sign language, so most kids will leave school with literacy levels far behind their peers and enter the world at a disadvantage. StorySign is a very simple concept. It takes advantage of Huawei's mobile AI system, which basically brings levels of computing power to a mobile device that we've never seen before. And together with Deaf Australia, we decided to create StorySign, the first app that can translate the written text into Australian Sign Language, opening up the world of books for deaf children. It's a free app. It's available to anyone on Android, but at its heart, it's about trying to help tackle literacy for deaf children. When you watch firsthand these kids using StorySign for the first time, uh, that personally is, is incredibly exciting and something at Huawei we are incredibly grateful to be a part of. Technology has raced forward so quickly, but it has left deaf kids behind, furthering the gap between them and hearing children. Huawei's AI app StorySign is finally helping to close that gap, which is an incredible gift. Now, 通过强大的机器学习能力，创新在线课堂体验，同时开发者的应用和服务也可以通过Linknow生态触达全球更多用户，让远程教育和办公协作更加便捷。未来的全场景智慧时代需要更多的创新。华为希望继续汇聚全球
تحد من انتشار كوفيد 19 وسلسله العدوى الكوفيد تريسنج كانت كثير عم بتساعد انه تكسر العدوى وفعلا تعرف وين الناس المخالطين بفتره اسرع تقريبا 15 5 الابلكيشن امان كان متاح على جميع الاب ستورز عشان ينزلوه وفعلا يساعدوا بالحد من انتشار فيروس كورونا وكسر سلسله العدوى ويحموا عدنا الحبيب ويحموا احبتهم كوفيد 19 ممكن يعدي قبل ما تبين عليك الاعراض بين انه هذا الشخص اللي انا كنت معاه كاين معاه كورونا فبيجي الممرض عليه بحكي له لو سمحت اعطيني الابلكيشن تبعك اللي هو تطبيق امان خليني اسحب منه الفايل تبع المواقع تبعونك باخر 14 يوم وبازمانهم خلال ساعه من رفعه الفايل بكون انا قاعد في البيت بوصلني تنبيه بقول لي في عندك نقطه تشابك صارت معك قبل اسبوع بهاي الساعه بهاي الدقيقه بهذا المكان هاي المعلومات بتضلها على موبايل اليوزر ما بتطلع منه وبصير البروسيسنج بس على الموبايل عشان يقارن ويحكي لك انه في نقاط التقاء ولا لا فبهي الطريقه لا طلبنا من المستخدم يوزر نيم ولا باسورد ولا رقم تليفون ولا ايميل ولا اسمه حتى فما ما بنعرف اي شيء عن اي حدا استخدم الابلكيشن هذا من الاشياء اللي سمح لنا نحافظ على خصوصيه المستخدمين احنا سمعنا تطبيق امان وحبينا نتطوع فيه علشان نساعد هذا التطبيق بحيث انه يوصل لاكبر عدد ممكن من الناس، وعملنا انتجريشن مع الاتش ام اس سيرفيسز الموجود جوا الاتش ام اس ديفايسز واستخدمنا تو كيتس فروم هواوي سيرفيسز. العمل التطوعي بفيدك انت والاحساس اللي هو انت خدمت الناس وحافظت على حياه بني ادم بجزء اهم من كل المصاري اللي عملتها في حياتك من خلال الرواتب وكل المشاريع اللي عملتها لانك انت فعليا عامل شغله بس لانك بتحب بلدك. ولانك بتحب الناس وبتشوف الناس عم بيستفيدوا منها هذا الشعور ما تتخيل قديش انه شيء جميل جدا A big thanks to Mr. John Pingan who has helped explain the mission of HMS as a platform that strives to empower developers. But how exactly can developers pursue app innovation on the platform? Who better to hear from than the actual developers themselves? As you know, this competition aims to showcase the work of talented developers in five global regions. Europe, Asia Pacific, Latin America, Middle East and Africa, and China. Now that the competition is set to open, I'll hand things off to the chairperson of each regional judging panel to provide some more details. Hello, 很高兴成为华为 HMS 应用创新大赛的评委。呃，我们 c s t 呢，在二零一零年举办了第一届的移动开发者大会。那时候呢，是围绕着 iOS 还有安卓的生态。十年下来呢，冒出了成千上万各种移动应用，丰富了我们的衣食住行各种生活。所以，移动应用在过去的十年大放异彩。下一个十年会怎么样？华为的 HMS 是我们最值得期待的，啊，我给大家分享三点。第一个呢 ，HMS 的应用生态是继 Google 生态和苹果生态之后的又一个具有非常大发展潜力的一个生态。华为把自己能力打包成核心的这个服务，有两点，一个是高效精确的这个定位，华为在软硬件呐、啊、无线通信上的技术能力。带来了 HMS 的高效的能力。第二个呢是机器学习、AI 这方面的能力，华为也在全球处于领先。所以，我们 HMS 给应用新的赋能，这是我们能看到它来给我们带来创新的机会。第二点呢是全球化，华为的终端遍布全球，所以通过 HMS 这样的一个生态，我们可以把中国应用的开发者带向全球，把中国应用的创新遍布全球。我们也可以学习中国以外的国家的创新，在 HMS 生态上。第三点呢，更具有想象空间和未来发展的，是华为的“一加八加 N” 的战略，所谓全场景、全终端。未来 HMS 不仅在手机上，而且可能在更多的智能家居设备啊、医疗健康设备、无所不在的各种地方，可能都会有 HMS。那将给我们带来超出当前移动应用的这个想象力，会有更丰富的应用，更创新的应用。所以也特别期待所有的 HMS 应用开发者的这一次的参与，能够迸发出新一代未来十年的应用。谢谢。Hi, I'm Dr. Johnson. 
the president of Malaysia Mobile Technology Association, or MMTA for short. I'm excited to be judging the Apps Up contest for the APEC region. At MMTA, we aim to provide a platform for all mobile industry players to embrace new and emerging mobile technology and innovation. And we have been guiding our members on the digital transformation journey since our establishment in 2007. The scale and the growth rate of mobile apps in APEC is in rising hand, but the developers' talent and potentials in the region are yet to be fully uncovered and unleashed. So I thought that our HMS Apps Innovations Contest App Up is a great opportunity to stimulate technology innovations as talent developers across the region come together to showcase their capability. I'm glad to see such an initiative as it is the first for Huawei in the APEC region and I believe this is only the beginning with Huawei opening up with more developer resources and capability to support the growth of developer communities and ecosystem. I think we can all look forward to more tools and resources available for the developers. And to me, it is an exciting time to be part of this journey so you participate and I look forward to seeing a greater innovation. Thank you. Hello everyone from Europe. My name is Jans Lauritsen and I'm the CEO of Flexion Mobile. We're the leading game distributor outside of Google Play. We help developers find new users and generate more revenue from their games in channels such as App Gallery. Our portfolio of top games generates approximately $40 million per month in Google Play. I worked in the mobile games industry since the start about 20 years ago. And hand on heart, I can say that this is the most exciting uh, time I've ever experienced. When I started, it was just worth $1 billion, uh, globally. Since then, it's grown about 50 times and is the biggest part of the games industry. It's really a great opportunity for game development. Here at Judge Panel, we don't only evaluate you, but we also want to share our experience with you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us or your fellow developers on the developer forum. Starting from today, we will be accepting applications and in September we will announce the 20 finalists who will be fighting for the $200,000 in cash on the final pitch battle in October. Don't wait for the right moment to come. Just make progress step by step. Create, innovate, grow. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Mi nombre es Javier Matuk. Soy mexicano, vivo en la Ciudad de México. Llevo más de 25 años dedicado a la tecnología. Los últimos 15 he dedicado a difundir información sobre tecnología y consumo. En 2007 fundé 10.com, el portal líder de noticias de la, del ramo en toda América Latina. Publicamos, por supuesto, novedades análisis de productos, hacemos entrevistas, investigamos, cubrimos eventos, todo lo que tiene que ver con la tecnología. Y bueno, hoy te quiero invitar a este primer gran concurso de aplicaciones que está convocando Huawei para, por supuesto, crear aplicaciones para su App Gallery, para su ecosistema. Se llama Apps Up. Las bases y toda la información están por ahí disponible. Y el asunto es que el concurso es global. Y yo quiero, por supuesto, me interesa, me daría mucho gusto que América Latina se lleve varios de los primeros lugares de las categorías que están disponibles. Fui invitado por Huawei a formar parte del jurado de este concurso, el cual acepto con mucho gusto. Y la competencia va a estar salvaje y va a estar muy interesante. Así es que, bueno, es momento de postular tu aplicación. Si no has acabado, termínala. Si tú no programas, pero conoces a alguien que tiene aplicaciones por ahí, avísales del concurso porque se va a poner bueno. Y ya estaremos eh, comunicándonos para ver cómo va este asunto. Ahí están las fechas, está toda la información de las cuentas de Huawei América Latina. Y bueno, pues a darle y vamos por esos primeros lugares. انا ابراهيم حمدي سي او فاوندر عرب هاردوير. عرب هاردوير واحد من اكبر المواقع التقنيه المهتمه بالتقنيه والالعاب. اتاسس سنه 2002. عرب هاردوير دايما كان ليه الرياده في ان هو بيساعد الناس على ان هي تحصل على معلومات تقنيه بشكل سليم. السنه دي احنا بنعلن تعاوننا مع شركه واوي من خلال اتش ام اس او واوي موبايل سيرفيسز. واوي دايما مهتمه جدا بالمطورين في الوطن العربي وبتدعمهم بشكل كبير. الدعم بيكون عن طريق ايفنتات كبيره بتعملها كل سنه وعن طريق ان هي بتعمل جوائز وبتعمل مسابقات للمطورين بشكل مستمر. واحد من الاحداث الكبيره اللي حصلت السنه اللي فاتت كانت واوي ديفلوبرز داي في دبي وفي السعوديه وفي مصر.
وكانت من اكبر المسابقات اللي اتعملت السنه اللي فاتت هي بالمشاركه مع تيك التابعه لوزاره الاتصالات المصريه وكانت بجائزه ماليه كبيره السنه دي احنا بنعلن مشاركتنا مع هواوي لدعم عدد اكبر من المطورين في المنطقه العربيه عن طريق ان هم بيستخدموا خدماتها على نظامها اتش ام اس من خلال مشاركتكم كمطورين هنكون شايفين اكتر عدد برامج اكبر على الاب جالري اللي هو الاوفيشال ستور بتاع هواوي موبايلز في الوقت الحالي اتمنى ان احنا نشوف عدد اكبر من البرامج العربيه موجوده عليه وبانتظار مشاركتكم وشكرا Okay, thank you everyone for sharing the essential knowledge. Now, let's get to the moment everyone has been waiting for. Let's welcome Mr. Zhang Pingan on stage to light up the HMS Star Raver and officially launch the competition. <laughs> Let's watch a short video which provides an overview of the competition with details on the regions, contest rules, forms of participation and available prices. The 5G era has brought an accelerated process of digitalization as well as broad reaching technological innovations. Developers from around the world working in different regions and diverse industries have sought to bring the benefits of digital technology to all by making education and healthcare better and more accessible, city services more efficient. Huawei HMS App Innovation Contest aims to inspire global app developers to unleash the power of innovation by promoting new digital applications for cutting-edge technology to make everyday life more rewarding and enriching. Separate competitions will be held for five global regions. Asia Pacific, Europe, Latin America, Middle East and Africa, and China. Winners of the following categories will be selected in each region. Five best apps, 15,000 US dollars each. Three best games, 15,000 US dollars each. Three best social impact apps, 15,000 US dollars each. One most popular app, 5,000 US dollars. And 12 honorable mentions, 2,500 US dollars each. For a total of $1 million of prize money allocated from the Shining Star program. Winners are also eligible to access promotional resources of Huawei App Gallery with 650 million users. Huawei Cloud Resources, and global media exposure. In order to participate in the contest, develop a personalized app that comes integrated with HMS Core. You can also upload the app to Huawei App Gallery. The judging panel will review works according to the following criteria. Innovativeness, user experience, social value, and business value. The competition will be scored according to the following three rounds of evaluation. Preliminary. Top 20 works from each region are selected by an expert panel. Public review. 
the shortlisted top 20 works in each region are exhibited for a public. Further selections are based on the number of downloads and votes received by the exhibited works. Final, the final score for each work is the sum total of the judging panel and public rating scores. The contest will last for three months, starting from its global launch on June the 30th and the public exhibition of the top 20 works in mid-September to the final selection in each region in October. Huawei has opened its HMS ecosystem with the goal of leveling the technological playing field and making the versatile all-scenario chip device cloud capabilities available to the global developer community. By working together, we can make digital technology accessible to all and relevant for every facet of daily life. We hope that you will showcase your talents at the contest. To sign up, please visit the official website and complete registration before it's too late. HMS, innovate for all. Unleashing the power of joint innovation. You probably feel like you've got a pretty good understanding of the composition by now. But you may also have some lingering questions like, is the HMS really all that powerful? What are its capabilities? How can it benefit me? If so, there's no cause for concern. Andreas from Germany will share some essential HMS core related information with us. Let's give him a warm welcome. Hi, and welcome to Apps Up 2020, our app innovation contest. My name is Andreas, and I will talk to you a little bit about the tools that we can provide you to build the next killer application for Huawei HMS. We aim to make the integration uh, experience for you as frictionless and easy as possible. Some words you'll hear more often from me today. But what is HMS Core? HMS Core provides you with endless possibilities for innovation in a simple and easy to integrate toolkit for your application. HMS Core is flexible, offering you a choice of 24 SDKs for any need. HMS Core integration is easy and fast, taking on average only around three days to integrate per kit. And finally, HMS Core is free to use and for you to register on our webpage. Our 24 kits help you develop and add key features to your app, like login, maps, or out-of-the-box machine learning. They help you grow and engage your users. And finally, they also help you monetize effectively. We'll take a little bit a closer look at some of these during the presentation today. To date, over 60,000 applications have already integrated HMS Core into their app. And especially outside of China, the amount of uh, applications that are already using at least one HMS kit is growing rapidly. Especially new kits like analytics, ads, or map kit, which we added in the HMS core 4.0 release, are seeing rapid adoption around the world. So first, let's take a look at how HMS core can help you with your app development, adding cool features to your application. So the login screen is usually the first touch point with your users. By integrating with account kit, you can give your users easy and frictionless access to your app by simply confirming the login using their Huawei ID, which every Huawei user has on their phone. No further registration or information filling is needed for the users to then log into your application, making the whole process seamless and frictionless. Specifically for apps that use location services, like ride hailing, social media, or food delivery, we have developed Location Kit. It allows you to build features that rely on super accurate positioning and geofencing and can be easily integrated into your application. And once a user knows where they are, the odds are good that they probably also want to know where to go. So for this purpose, Together with companies like TomTom, Tom, we developed um, our map kit, which allows you to add interactive maps, route planning, or even location search services to your application. As an example of an app that uses both location services and map services, Comfort Delgro is a top taxi hailing app from Singapore that is already integrated with HMS. So they rely on our super GPS service 
to more accurately locate their taxis and the users so that the user of the, uh, of the app can already wait on the right side of the road before the taxi has arrived. If you've followed Huawei for some time, you know that we are one of the leaders in on-device AI. Uh, and now we're bringing AI to the next level with our ML kit, which we launched in January 2020. It provides you an out-of-the-box AI toolkit for your application, uh, has global coverage and works on Huawei as well as other third-party devices. Some of the cool features you can add are, for example, face detection, text recognition, image labeling, and object detection. One app that has integrated with MLKit is Banggood. It's a cross-border e-commerce uh, platform covering over 200 countries. A user can use Banggood to snap a picture of a, of a product identify this product in a few seconds and buy it from any time, uh, buy it anywhere. Uh, Banggood already recognizes over 14 product categories using MLKit and our on-device machine learning. Now next, let's take a look at user engagement and growth. So push notifications are among the most widely used HMS functions, and we offer you a very powerful tool to deliver cross-platform push notifications. So with an arrival rate of over 99%, as well as real-time receipts, we have one of the best services available to you that you can use. Combined with Huawei Analytics, you can even precisely target notifications, um, and those come in many shapes and sizes, um, including adding images uh, or uh, ringtones to your notifications. So finally, let's look at your possibilities for monetization. A uh, few years ago, we already launched uh, our in-app payment capabilities that we have recently expanded with the uh, most powerful subscription service. It's now available in over 170 countries around the world, and we support all major payment methods, including credit cards, local payments, as well as Huawei points. And we're working very closely with uh, operators to make direct carrier billing available all, ar all around the world to make the payment experience even more uh, frictionless. And for applications that don't monetize through subscriptions or in-app purchases, we recently launched our Huawei Ads platform. So you as a publisher can now target advertising placements in your application. And if you want to promote your app, as a developer, you can also place your ads throughout our network to be shown in other Huawei uh, HMS apps. So after having looked at some of the possibilities to use HMS Core in your application, let's take a little bit uh, step back and take a look at the effort that is needed to integrate. So I already mentioned to you that our promise is to make the integration as easy and effortless as possible. So on average, it only takes about three days to integrate an HMS kit into your app. But in many cases, it's even less than that. There's also HMS plugins available for all major development platforms, such as Flutter or uh, React Native. So aside from Android Studio, um, we try to make the, the uh, integration process for you as easy and quick as possible, no matter what tool you use for your app development. And if you need help, we're there for you. So we launched eight DigiX labs that you can use for remote testing and debugging. And in addition, we have local technical support engineering teams available for you if you have any further questions. You'll be able to find all these resources, code labs, support, and more on our developer website, developer.huawei.com. And we hope that we can welcome you there to join the over 1.4 million strong developer community today. And again, remember that registration is completely free. So that's how HMS can help you drive innovation with your app. I hope you enjoyed this short introduction and we at Huawei look forward to working with you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for sharing all of that with us. Now that you have some background knowledge on HMS Core, without further ado, I'd like to introduce Jaime, who will talk about App Gallery Connect. 
Thank you very much. My name is Jaime Gonzalo, and today we celebrate the talent and the creativity of our developer community. You guys are the best. In this session, we will rethink app stores. We will explore App Gallery as the combination of app stores and innovation. For that, I would like to frame starting with an open question. What if app stores had feelings? What if your app store could feel emotions about the way you are using it? What I mean is, have you ever downloaded an app that you never opened? Have you ever not found the right app for you despite searching for a while and trying different apps? Have you ever had to uninstall an app or a game that you loved because of lack of storage for your photos? Or as a developer, have you ever seen your app eclipsed in an app store by lower quality clones? I guess what this means is that we can all agree that there is room for improvement in terms of app stores. Luckily, App Gallery is here. The entry level to App Gallery is very easy. You don't need a PhD to know how to use App Gallery. It's very simple. Because App Gallery connects all the basic features of all other app stores. And on top of that, it has all the features that the other app stores don't have. For example, discovery. Let me ask you something. When you are watching your video service and you are deciding what series to watch next, how often that decision comes from browsing, checking the trailers, the icons, compared to searching? You probably almost never search in your video service. You browse and you discover. How about the app stores? The next app you download, how often does it come from checking the icons, browsing through the pages of the app store, compared to searching? In app stores, you search. App stores are designed as bookshelves you pick the book you want, take it, and read it. You don't go around browsing pages of other books and so on. It's a search environment. Video stores are a discovery environment. A gallery is both. We have this discovery focus, these topics, these websites full of color and life inside a gallery that will transport you to the seasoning that you are feeling. Stay fit, devour books. Um, be the hero of your games. Many different options. And this is possible thanks to our editorial focus. Our editor team is sitting in your countries where you are based. Unlike other app stores where their editor team are all together sitting in an office in a remote country. And for that reason, it's kind of hard to guess what is the word in the street. What are they talking in your bar, in the corner shop? But our editors, they are sitting with you. They know exactly what is trending, what is worrying the population of each one of your countries. That allows us to have an optimal configuration for all European countries, Middle East and Africa countries, Latin America countries, Asia Pacific countries, and soon North America. It means that as a user, when you open a gallery, you will find everything that you need for your daily life. You will find your public transportation apps, your public services, your banking apps, everything to make your life more comfortable. We have search, but our search is not designed to show ads. We are not an ads company. We are a discovery and a user experience company, and our goal is to make your life easier, to make your search easier. That's why our search will have some recommendations to start with, to motivate you, to inspire, to search. And again, these are not ads driven. These are just to give you ideas. You will find your search history. So you don't need to type every time you want to search for a puzzle. You don't need to type puzzle. It will be there. You can just click on what you clicked before. You will see the top search apps and games in your area so that you know what's trending and the same four keywords. You will know if people worry about radio apps, sports, health, and by clicking on the keyword, all the apps related to that word will display. Finally, if you want to go the hard route of typing each of the letters, our intelligent ecosystem 
will predict the end of your sentence and offer you different options so that you can complete with one click. Again, discovery and search at the service of better use of your app store, app gallery. In terms of storage, I mentioned the case of you having to uninstall a game that you liked due to lack of storage. This doesn't happen in app gallery because thanks to our innovation and our technology, we have quick apps. These apps can be directly opened with no need of download and install. What it means is that you find the app you like, click, opens, that's it, you're in. The favorite section in our store for the users is gifts. So our gifts are as simple as rewards we give to you for trying our apps or games from a gallery. If you get the apps from another store, you don't get anything in particular, you get the same app from a gallery and you get $10, $90 in-game, one month free, you get uh, an exclusive item. And we are not talking about low quality apps that struggle to get users. We're talking about top games at the level of Free Fire, Lords Mobile, AFK Arena, World of Tanks. In these games, if you're a gamer and you get the games from App Gallery instead of other app stores, you get a gift immediately. And finally, rewards. The more you use our store, the more surprises we have for you. For example, we have lucky draw campaigns. Just by gaining the apps, by using them, by normal behavior in the apps, you will get access to winning some real money that you can then invest and spend in other games. Um, you can win Huawei phones, you can win watches, you can win our free bats, everything in the Huawei universe, just to create a satisfactory experience for our users. But where we really shine, our pride in this ecosystem is that it's privacy and security by design. Because we are not an ads company. We don't need and we don't care about your private data. We designed our ecosystem with a level of security that few have. Because we combine the best security of the software, of the services, of the apps, with the best security of the machine of the phones. For example, we make sure that the source of the app is legit, that there's no piracy happening in our store. We will, while uploading the app to our servers, we'll make sure that there's no malicious behavior, no malware, no antivirus, nothing that can damage your experience. While installing the app in your phone, we use a fully encrypted end-to-end -end channel that ensures that if anyone would like to see what's happening from the, the external source, they will see something like the matrix letters falling impossible to understand. Fully secure. And finally, while you're using our apps, you have a full protection of all the layers of usage. That is the service level. But the hardware level, the phone level, we have a GDPR compliant phone device security with TEE solutions. Our operating system, as you know, is one step beyond the basic Android. We have all security of your private data, your account, and your payments. We design this ecosystem thinking about protecting your security. So that makes all the discovery I explained, all the safety I explained, it makes that when a user embraces the Huawei mobile service ecosystem, we're not talking about, about an app store. We're not talking about a small service. We talk about a lifestyle, a lifestyle where you can imprint your personality, your passion into your phone, which is your window to the world, where we will assist you to ease every task that you need to do with your phone, where we will source the best content in the world for you, the one that you like, not the one that we advertise, the one that you need. And finally, to give you full digital freedom to connect your life on the cloud, privacy and security design. The value proposition of our ecosystem for the user is quite clear, but for developers, the story gets even better. We designed App Gallery Connect to be the unique portal, the destination of developers to find everything regarding innovation. There are four elements needed for true innovation. Remember this, we are the company in the world with the four elements 
with buyer. The first of all is the devices. You need good phones, good machines with chipsets of artificial intelligence. You need services that don't depend on third parties, services designed by the same manufacturer of the phones. You need connectivity like 5G, and we are currently possibly the leaders in the world on that. And you need an innovation, hunger, and appetite, and willing to go further. That makes that we have 1.4 million developers registered in our community already. And these developers have already completed over 60,000 top-ups with our HMS SDK. This allows us to deliver innovation through 170 countries across 48 services. But our ecosystem is not just to cover the basics of what a developer needs. We want to truly help you grow your business and to embrace innovation through our solutions. And that's why we have an environment that allows you to A-B test. Test the best configuration for your users so that you can find the best response. We have app linking from anywhere in the digital world. You can connect any banner any post, any article to your app, download directly. From anything you are doing digitally, your app is a destination. We have capabilities of remote configuration of all your app parameters. It means that if you want to change the background color of your app, or the icon, or the difficulty of a hero in your game, you can do that remotely. No need to open the source code again and recode it and then resubmit everything done remotely. And finally, we have serverless capabilities, authentication, cloud functions, cloud database, cloud storage, hosting, five capabilities within our serverless solutions. But this event is about innovation. And in that sense, Huawei rewards and encourages innovation, especially in the areas that resonate well with the Huawei culture. Education for children. Empower the new generations to succeed. We have apps that are AR, augmented reality design, using artificial intelligence to help children learn faster, better. Health, critically important, especially these days. Thanks to our innovation apps, you can contact a doctor without risking going to a place in which maybe your health is at risk. Lifestyle. You need your phone for everything, for e-commerce, for clothes, for food, for ticketing. All of these you can do in one single destination, thanks to our innovation apps of Lifestyle. And finally, family bones. Connect parents and children, especially for children with difficulties. Like example of StorySign. StorySign is a storyteller app that scans a book, creates an avatar in augmented reality in 3D, and in the language of science, we'll tell the book for hearing impaired children, making the bones, children and parents stronger, and overall, putting technology at the service of a better society. Good news for developers is that we have the capability to show your app to a very massive audience of 420 million people just in App Gallery, but if we combine the whole ecosystem, because it's a connected ecosystem, we talk about an audience of 650 million users monthly to discover your app, your innovation. In terms of activation, if we put all the windows I presented at the service of your app, imagine what kind of storytelling we could build, even with pre-order capabilities, with push notifications for all those who don't know that your app exists. Try this great app for family, for education, for health, for you name it. Monetization, thanks to the virtual currency living in our services, we are allowed to run premium experience in a very accessible level for our users. Spend eight, get eight back. 100% cashback during Black Friday. This encourages users to spend more and not having this barrier of, I was using for free, I have to pay now. Don't worry, this is very successful and users love it. In terms of retention, we want the users to keep connected with you. We want to generate loyalty despite the oceans of apps and offer out there. That's why we will do constant PR. We will do events. Retail stores, 
thousand level of stores that sell Huawei devices and that we can brand with your image to connect the digital and the physical life for real connection with your audience. Social um, networks, influencers, and of course, the China market. If you are interested in the biggest app economy in the world, we are an obvious partner to talk to. In a nutshell, what we are therefore offering to developers is a low effort. Low effort in development, we will help you because we trust you, because our users like your story. And with that, we will bring you huge traffic and eyeballs, activation, monetization, and retention. As you see, it's already happening. So, what next for you, developers of innovation apps? The first thing, register for free. And like other app stores, we don't charge you to register in developer.huawei.com. Integrate our HMS SDK into your app. Join this competition, this event, and allow us to help you show off your talent and your creativity to the world. We want to help you be successful, and we have the means to do it. And with that, I conclude my presentation, encouraging everyone who has hunger for innovation and has an idea, creativity, and talent to join this competition and partner with Huawei. Thank you very much to everyone, and best of luck. Bye-bye. We've all learned a lot today, but it's natural if you still have some unanswered questions. App users can scan QR code on screen. PC users can open the link at the bottom of the screen. Please register and raise new questions. Our experts will get back to you as soon as possible. Innovative apps form the basis for connected intelligent living of the future. The Huawei HMS App Innovation Contest aims to bring out the talent of promising global developers to facilitate the creation of pioneering apps that fully harness the potential of Huawei's burgeoning global HMS ecosystem. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the opening ceremony. If you would like to join the conversation, please open the link at the bottom of the screen to register without delay. Thank you again for interest in the Huawei HMS App Innovation Contest. We hope to see you there.